SpaceX Dragon beats other space shuttle during space flight to the ISS, and astronauts are now obsessed with it. No doubt, the Crew Dragon attracts all attention to itself, even in the midst of his peers, intimidating NASA's Starliner and Russia's Soyuz space rocket anytime. So, experienced astronauts who have ducked on the ISS up to three times feels the SpaceX Crew Dragon is God sent, and flying in it creates the best moment that seems like a great feeling to enjoy for a lifetime. Of course, Elon's company has the most experienced rocket engineers, and talking from the perspective of the Tesla EV, designed to be tech inclined with sophisticated high-end tech features that prioritize user experience and comfort, you can absolutely bet that all the rockets designed by SpaceX including the Starship and Crew Dragon capsule will bridge the gap of human taste and extreme comfort. No need to sugarcoat it. Let's hear from the horse's mouth, that is astronauts that had experienced an intense sweet ride in the crew capsule. A first-time astronaut Victor Glover, now the Crew Dragon's pilot, expressed his innermost joyous feeling by describing the G4, that is four times the force per unit of mass due to Earth's gravity, as truly amazing. I've seen tons of pictures, Glover said, but when I first looked out the window at the Earth, it's hard to describe. There are no words. It was an amazing, once-in-a-lifetime feeling. The SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule can be best described as a machine that forces an aura of obsession on anyone who boards it, even for the first time. There are lots of mysterious hidden features about SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule you may not know, reason why astronauts fall head over heels for it. But stick around as we reveal all in today's episode of Tech SpaceX. For some reason, SpaceX had to go beyond the norm and do some crazy things to the Crew Dragon interior that projects its luxurious aura. For instance, there was a need to change the angle of the seats to reduce the number of astronauts that can fly in the Dragon capsule from seven seats to just four. And even at that, it still has more capacity than the Soyuz. Although, the Boeing Starliner has many aspects comparable to SpaceX's Crew Dragon lacks the most important aspect of its interior comfort that would regard it as safe. And from all testing and findings, as of 2022, the Crew Dragon has been regarded as the only reliable U. S. Human Orbital Transport Spacecraft, the only crew spacecraft that can be reused, and even now it remains the only safest flight orbital cargo currently in operation, among others throughout the world. Hence, to achieve the safest flight to and from the ISS, and most importantly the assurance of astronaut safe return, it is enough to prioritize SpaceX Crew Dragon as the most reliable space shuttle in the history of mankind. And again, its exotic interior can take anyone's feeling of luxury and ecstasy to another level. To prove all these sweet talks, SpaceX engineer John Fetter Spiel said the company's desire is to design the Crew Dragon to feel like a 21st century spaceship, which confirms one of the most intriguing features of Crew Dragon are the touch screens and significant controls almost done by pressing your fingers on the screen rather than turning on switches and moving levers, John said. And they are designed not just to be very functional, but with a user experience in mind. This should reflect your mind towards what we earlier said about the modern design of Tesla vehicles. Yeah, it's similar to the interior of the Crew Dragon capsule. And hell no, we are no longer in the oldies where spacecraft's interior controls are designed with levers, buttons, and switches. Unlike the commercial airplane you board on at the airport, where hundreds of switches, dials, lights, and analog gauges are all embedded on a mechanical board, and the pilot struggles with turning on the engine, with the switch and moving the lever to lift the airplane from the ground. It's a different ball game compared to what we have in the Crew Dragon spacecraft. Dragon's designers swept all of the studious process away replacing everything including the control stick or yoke with three large touch screens facing four side-by-side -side seats. Each screen is capable of serving as many as 10 sets of displays, with different functions allowing the crew to focus on a particular set of systems such as guidance environmental and power distribution. SpaceX think outside the box to design what befits the 21th century rocket interior, and in fact, being the ideal spacecraft, it would help astronauts so much that they have virtually nothing to do while traveling in the ship because the Crew Dragon operates entirely autonomously. By featuring a full-time autopilot program, it doesn't require any astronaut to control it during lifts off from Florida's Kennedy Space Center on a Falcon 9 rocket. During missions to the ISS, the Crew Dragon docks into the orbiting outpost autonomously that is without having to be guided by any human. According to the director of the Dragon missions and hardware operation at SpaceX, Jessica Jensen says GPS are installed in the Dragon, and there are also cameras and imaging sensors incorporated on the nose cone. 
So, as it approaches the space station, all these sensors will be feeding data to the flight computer to determine the distance between the Dragon and the space station, then adjust its velocity in regards to its proximity to the ISS. The flight computer then uses this information to determine the magnitude of thrust the engine should fire to successfully get to the docking target and finally plug itself to the ISS. This is an amazing autonomous technology that SpaceX invented into our modern-day space shuttle to and from the ISS. Unlike the Russia's Soyuz spacecraft, which is always controlled by astronauts to target the docking unit on the ISS, with a jam-packed interior, that inconvenient astronaut setting position. Without a doubt, SpaceX Dragon stands unbeatable as the best spacecraft in the world right now. A few weeks ago, particularly on Tuesday, the Crew Dragon blazed through the sky at night when deorbiting from the ISS like a fiery shooting star before splashing down on the Gulf of Mexico. Veteran rocket commander Peggy Whitson and co-pilot John Schaffner monitored the automated re-entry that looked like one of those China's festive display. Since the flight was not steady, it rather flew from left to right continuously. A lot of videos were posted on Twitter showing the spacecraft's eye-catching re-entry from Oklahoma to southern Mississippi that commands excitement and curiosity, attracting attention towards what was causing that spectacular sky show. This was so because SpaceX didn't provide any guidance control on the capsule's path across the United States in any case. It was 12 hours after leaving the space station and over 30 minutes after leaving the Earth's atmosphere that the Crew Dragons for main parachutes unfolded to reduce the speed of the spacecraft and lowering it to a gentle splashdown at south of Panama City, Florida. A warmth welcome radioed by a flight control engineer from SpaceX saying, on behalf of SpaceX, Welcome home, we would like to tell you that was a phenomenal ride, we really enjoyed all of it. Also, an Axe 2 Commander Peggy Whitson, who is currently America's most experienced space astronaut, recording three successful trips to the station aboard a space shuttle and Russian Soyuz spacecraft. She also expressed her heartfelt intense experience on the Crew Dragon capsule. It was the softest docking I've ever felt very well done, many tears of honest joy here, because we've had a great team and a great week, so congratulations to the Axiom team, your crew did an amazing Amazing job, congratulations to SpaceX. Another NASA's astronaut, Frank Rubio, concluded that the Crew Dragon capsule is absolutely comfortable to fly in. In his words, we can feel how comfortable Dragon is compared to Soyuz. And no doubt, reflecting your mind towards what we said about user experience earlier, just like first impression, the Crew Dragon has been designed to provide a comfortable environment for astronauts during their journey to and from the ISS. It features modern touchscreen controls, a sleek interior, and its seating arrangements cannot be compared to other space capsules. For instance, the seats are custom made and designed to serve better support and convenience for astronauts. However, if you want to bring the Soyuz capsule into the picture, you'll find out that the end build is very small with acute crew compartments that almost restrict movement, especially on trips longer than two days. A crew of three persons would be pretty uncomfortable on a very long trip, and that is why Soyuz ISS flights often use a hybrid launch configuration, which makes it speed up faster to get the crew to the station in a matter of hours instead of days. These are the reasons why SpaceX crew capsule tops it as one of the most comfortable, most sleek with modern day technology, most spacious, and the safest spacecraft ever built in the history of rocket engineering. Do you agree that SpaceX Crew Dragon beats all other space shuttles like the Soyuz and Boeing Starliner? If in doubt, check on why China rockets will never being like SpaceX's Starship, 